video. And as you can tell by the title, I decided to do a little bit of a top five video. I've never done top anything videos before. It's probably not going to be a normal thing, but I really kind of want to make this one. Top five games that I'm looking forward to. Uh, but first, we're going to get it out of the way. Uh, some honorable mentions. Um, I can't really put them on here because this is kind of like top five coming out in 2017 or the next year or whatever will you whatever have you. Uh, but these two, God of War 4 and uh, Death Stranding, we don't have a release date for them yet. They are coming out, but we don't know exactly when. So that's why I wanted to do that. Uh, just to touch on it real quick, God of War 4, obviously Kratos is back, and it almost kind of looks like a, a Skyrim more kind of game than, a, you know, the normal God of War game. So, I don't know, it just looks really interesting. Like, you know, brand new, interesting, unique ideas. I really love those, and taking the God of War franchise kind of there really, really intrigues me, and that's why. And obviously Death Stranding, you, you can tell by my, my handle, Solid Shepard, you know. The solid half is Solid Snake. And who's making it? Who's producing it? Kojima Studios. Kojima's producing it. Hideo Kojima, the creator of the Metal Gear Solid series. The real Metal Gear Solid series, not what it's about to become with Konami running the show. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm really looking forward to those two games. But in good conscience, I cannot put it on this list simply because we don't know exactly when they are coming out. Anyways, let's get into the actual right, guys. top five. So we're going to get into the top five now. Coming in at number five is Persona 5. And I just want to put out the bot, the number five, number four, the first two on this list. I don't have the most experience with these franchises in the world, but I have played entries of them before, and I enjoyed the little experience that I actually had with them. So number five is Persona 5. And I did play, I think it was Persona 2, I got it on my PS Vita, it was 2 or 3, no it was 1, it was actually, it might have actually been 1, uh, I don't remember, it was a while ago, but it really was interesting, uh, you know, the RPG aspect, it seemed like there was a really good story, and they really involved the characters a lot, it makes for interesting story, story blah, 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 blah. storytelling, there we go, English, got it, anyways, so, very good sport, storytelling, you know, interwoven characters, and I really like the, pers you know, the, uh, I believe they're called Persona, uh, and that's why the game, that's where the name comes from, is they're like basically these guardian force things from like Final Fantasy or summons or whatever you want to call them, that fight with and for you, and they have special powers, and it's just, I don't know, like, like I told you just, just before this, I love unique ideas, and when, you know, Persona is definitely a unique idea, like how they do it, it's very... It's very specific to their franchise. Um, you don't really see anybody else really doing it, the you know RPGs, the way that they do it. So, and I, I'm a sucker for stories in video games, and they seem to, this seems to have both. So this is going to be the first Persona game, uh, whenever I get around to playing it, that I actually deep dive into. But I'm really looking forward to Persona 5. I said the title about 500 times. But yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. It looks like an exciting game, and I believe it's already out in Japan, and it's gotten great reviews, so, you know, it's already been vetted, so there's that too. Persona 5, folks. All right, guys, coming, coming in, at, in at number four, we got Kingdom Hearts 3. And I know I know what you're, you're about to say. What do you mean? Because you just said the top two you don't have that much experience with. What do you mean you don't have that much experience with Kingdom Hearts 3? I know, I know. I did own... Kingdom Hearts 1 on the PS2, and I actually recently, because I went home about a month or so ago, and I picked up my PlayStation 2 that my dad still had at his house from my childhood, alright, well, my teenagerhood anyways, and I grabbed my PlayStation 2, right, and I have it, but I didn't really have any games for it, there still, I had a couple, so I went on Amazon and I ordered to keep the first Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation 2, so once I figure out how to basically convert the TV cords for the PlayStation 2 to HDMI so I can use my Elgato capture card. I actually plan on doing a Let's Play. Uh, I'm not going to say leading up to Kingdom Hearts 3 because I don't feel like there's enough time for that. So I'll probably end up playing Kingdom Hearts 3 on the channel later because I want to play the other games on the channel first. Because it is one of those games where it's like connecting stories. And I mean, I've watched others do videos on Kingdom Hearts, the series, and it is <laughs> quite confusing. So. 
Hey, whenever I get around to doing it though, if you are a newbie like me, you can just watch it and uh, get caught up because I will try to do them chronologically. And uh, that is the plan. So be looking forward to that. But that being said, Kingdom Hearts 3 looks very beautiful. Of course, it's made by Square Enix and it's an RPG, so you know it's going to be great um, as far as gameplay and stuff, you know, and story. And, I mean, it's Final Fantasy meets Disney. What's not to like about that? So, number four, folks, for me at least. Now, remember, these are my opinions. You can have different opinions. This is what I am personally looking most forward to uh, coming out, and it's Kingdom Hearts 3. All right, guys, the simple fact that this game right here is number three and not number two or number one just goes to show you how amazing this lineup of games is right now this year especially this early on it is mass effect andromeda and as i said about the uh the death stranding earlier on um the, the other half of my my handle here on youtube my name the shepherd part solid shepherd is for commander shepherd which is obviously from the Mass Effect trilogy, and the new Mass Effect's coming out now. Commander Shepard, unfortunately, is no longer going to be a part of it, but you know what? It's still Bioware, and it's still Mass Effect. Um, I'm really excited to explore a new galaxy, I believe. Is it? Yeah, it's a galaxy. Galaxy or universe? Galaxy. I'm not a scientist. Whatever. You know, new worlds, uh, new story, new characters. It looks like there's going to be some new races we're going to run into. Just looks like a lot, a lot of fun, and... It's going to be fun to finally get to play some new Mass Effect because I beat all three of the original games and its DLC like 20 freaking times. So, especially the first game. I remember waiting for the second game to come out. Oh my gosh, I beat that thing like 200 times. Like, the game's actually boring to me now because I beat it so many freaking times. Like, I know everything that's going to happen. I know every possible outcome. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I still enjoy 2 uh, to a lesser extent and then I really still enjoy 3. But I'm going to really enjoy this brand new Mass Effect experience, finally. Because I'll tell you what, any of you guys who have not played the original Mass Effect series, I am envious of you and you need to get on it. I wish I could just forget everything I knew about it and just start over from scratch and play them again. They are that good. So, a lot of expectations for this game. They need to not fuck it up. But assuming they don't, this will probably be a candidate for game of the year and it looks like it will also be taking advantage of the PlayStation 4 Pro's uh, updated graphics not only from 4K but also like just graphics in general if you don't have a 4K TV it'll take advantage of it and obviously probably the Xbox version will take uh, advantage of the Scorpio's updated power later this year when it releases so whether you're an Xbox fanboy or a PlayStation fanboy be looking out for this one uh, probably won't ever be on, out on the Switch because it looks like it just requires too much power that the Switch just doesn't have. But, I mean, most people have an Xbox or a PlayStation along, you know. Like, Nintendo consoles have kind of been relegated to... This is a whole other topic, but just a real quick. Nintendo consoles have kind of been relegated to the second console. Like, everyone either has, like, a PlayStation and, an, and a Nintendo system or an Xbox and Nintendo system. So everyone should be able to play it. Um, if not, just go get a PlayStation Slim or something. Uh, anyways, yes, really looking out for this one. And you will see in the next two entries why it is at number three. It's insane that this one's at number three, but we just have two games that are about to come out really soon. That is just about to okay, knock guys, our socks coming off. in at number two. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, some people might be going, how can that be not be number one? Well... My top two games, it's close. Um, I personally, I've been a Zelda fan since I was little. But personally, number one, I've been looking forward to it. And if you've all been a part of my channel, which you probably have been if you're watching this video. And if not, hey, please subscribe. There's plenty of good stuff going on here. Or don't. It's up to you. Uh, but I would very appreciate it. But anyways, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild could easily be number one. It's really just kind of up to you. Uh... I'll get into why the other games, number one, after this. But basically, it's Legend of Zelda. What else do you need? It's the new Legend of Zelda. It's open world, kind of like Skyrim or Witcher style. Uh, there's voice acting for our first time ever. And there's so much speculation in this game, like, as to where it takes place. And is this a link we used to know? Uh, could be Ocarina of Time Link. 
and just the fact that they also came out and said that you can't 100% it in a week, like even if you stayed up and didn't work or anything, like I'm so hyped for this game. I think everybody is. Like people who aren't, even people who are like Nintendo fanboys but have always been more Mario are probably looking forward to this game. Um, plus it's been delayed a couple times, so the hype is only built and built even more and more. So I'm really looking forward to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's going to be tough, though, because I'm basically, number one, number two, I'm getting both. And really, Mass Effect and Drama, I'm planning on getting, too. So I'm going to get these three games in pretty short succession of each other. And there's no way I'm going to be able to beat all of them before the next I get the next ones. So there's going to be a lot of going back and forth. And I still have Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy XV on my channel, which I haven't finished those play Let's Plays yet. So uh, be expecting a lot of jumping forth between a lot of games. But hey, if you like variety... We're going to have it. But yeah, Zelda Breath of the Wild, I don't even know what else to say that hasn't already been said already about this game. It's just, it's going to be great. You know, the one good thing I can say, I don't like the way they do their consoles, but Nintendo's games, they, they don't fuck up. You know, they make good games. And it looks like there's going to be DLC too, and it seems like they're doing it right. It's not like stuff that should have been in the game day one that they just took out and trying to sell it to you. It's stuff they want to add to later to add to the experience they didn't take stuff out and they're selling it to you the stuff that's going to be dlc they haven't even made yet so it's not something that was a part of the base game so that's good they're doing dlc right i was kind of scared they wouldn't but they are anyways number two is legend of zelda breath of the wild let's see okay and it's number one number one is horizon zero dawn uh i've talked about this game a couple times on my channel weirdly enough it's like these the Horizon Zero Dawn videos are my most popular videos, and I don't understand why. But well, I, I do. I'm really hyped for the video. Uh, there's some concerns about outside influences trying to grab it as, that I just talked about yesterday in my last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, about how they're trying to twist it for political gain. But we're not here talking about that. We're just talking about the games. And it looks like a great game. Uh, Al, you know, Aloy... The main character, the main chick, she looks like a very interesting and in-depth character. Can't wait to get know, you know, know more about her story and the story of this world. It seems like it's a post-apocalyptic world, but not in a Fallout universe kind of style, but like nature has taken back the Earth kind of way. Uh, but there's more story behind it. It just looks really, really interesting. Uh, and it's just a, you know, such a unique concept. Like, you can, like, basically robot dinosaur, go robot dinosaur wrangling, right? And then, like, end up riding one. Like, you can, there's these giant walking, like, giraffes called long necks uh, that are robotic dinosaurs, basically, but look like giraffes, like giant giraffes. And you can basically climb on them, and they operate as, like, the Sheikah Towers do, are supposed to in the Breath of the Wild, or, like, uh, those uh, towers in Assassin's Creed, the Ego purchase or whatever you call them. I know I'm not a big Assassin's Creed fan. Uh, I played the first one like a little bit. I'm, I wasn't, didn't really get into that series, but yeah. So and then, you know, and you can see like the whole area is just beautiful. Like this game just looks amazing. And of course, you have RPG elements of equipment upgrades. You know, armors and stuff, side quests, and oh my gosh, I'm so ready for this game. And the only reason I, I promise I would tell you. I promise I would tell you why I put this above Breath of the Wild. And the only reason why it is, is because there is so much I'm excited for and don't know about this game. And it's so fresh. Whereas Zelda, yeah, I know they're breaking the conventions of Zelda in this game. But still at its core, it's a Zelda game. It's still going to have dungeons. It's still going to be a Link in Zelda. And it's going to be a give or take there. And it's going to be trying to stop Ganon. I mean, there's only so many conventions they can break. It's still a Zelda game. And it looks like they... From horse wrangling, it looks like they kind of got a little bit of that from Red Dead Redemption. Uh, open world kind of stuff, RPG kind of feels. Looks like they're getting from like games like the you know Skyrim and The Witcher. And so it, I'm really excited to bring all these different things kind of like into one world space and like one game, right? But they're all things that have been done before. Now I think Zelda will do put them all together great, and it'll be a great game. And I'm really excited for that. Just not as excited about the kind of unknown promise that is Horizon Zero Dawn. And there are some outlets who have already gotten hands on the copies. 
and apparently Sony's been receiving majorly positive feedback. So, I mean, take that with a grain of salt, you know, especially with the whole, this is what Gamergate was fighting against is, you know, uh, ethics and journalism. So you got, you got to remember that too. But the fact that Sony is basically coming out saying they think Aloy will be like their new system mascot, like what Mario has always been in Nintendo and stuff, and what they had to crash Bandicoot be back in the day, that's saying something. So I'm really excited for it. Really, you could have put these top two, and I Mass Effect Andromeda's got to be three right now. Until these two come out, Mass Effect Andromeda has to be three, just because these two are just looking so great. Uh, but once they come out, Mass Effect will be number one. I mean, it's no contest. Um, and then Kingdom Hearts is number four. Yeah, so I mean, the only two I could really change is Horizon Zero Dawn and Zelda. And yeah, um, yeah, Mass. I, there's no way Mass Effect can jump them. Uh, you might, if you're a Kingdom Hearts fanboy, you might be able to make an argument to jump over Mass Effect. But it would have to be a really good one. Persona's pretty much down. You know, Persona's not going to move. But it is, it is looking like a good game. I just can't make an argument to move it up. So, anyways, in review, we got number five, Persona Five. Number four. Kingdom Hearts 3, number 3, Mass Effect Andromeda, number 2, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and number 1, Horizon Zero Dawn, and games that are coming but we just don't have release dates yet that are also deserving to be mentioned in this video are God of War and Death Stranding. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Not forcing you, but I'd appreciate it. And until next time, this has been Solid Shepard, and I should go.